Good evening and welcome to our Gold Star Gala, a celebration of Chesterfield County Public Schools 2021 Teachers of the Year, sponsored by the Chesterfield Education Foundation and the Chesterfield County School Board. My name is Tim Bullis and the Communications and Community Engagement team and I have the distinct pleasure of hosting tonight's event. Well, here we are in a land far, far away from one another. If you're watching this on our social media channels, we are physically distanced much more than six feet. This wasn't how tonight was supposed to be. Then again, not much during the last 12 months has gone as we had hoped it would. We've dreaded the possibility of not being able to host an in-person celebration of our 2021 Teachers of the Year. We decided back in October to try and wait out the governor's executive order that limits crowd sizes for social gatherings. Yet here we are, some five months later, transitioning to a virtual event. But this isn't a woe is us time. Today is a celebration. And a silver lining is that instead of a closed ceremony attended by only about 250 individuals, the whole world via the internet now can be with us as we celebrate our 2021 Teachers of the Year. Tonight's celebration is designed to recognize the best of the best among Chesterfield County teachers. We have two important leaders here tonight to share remarks as well. Our superintendent, Dr. Merv Doherty, and our school board chair, Mr. Ryan Harder. Dr. Doherty, welcome. Hello. I'm excited to join you tonight to honor the best of the best of our outstanding educators. Teachers help shape lives. I can personally give you a testimony to that, that I've had great teachers and I've had teachers who just really didn't care. But you tonight, we want to honor, and I want to give you a personal testimony of a, a great teacher that I have named Ed Shoup, who encouraged me, who uh, put positive uh, attitude in my life, gave me the opportunity to see that there was light in the tunnel and inspired me to do just outstanding things. And I will never forget Mr. Shoup uh, as long as I live because he was an outstanding teacher and someone who cared about what I was gonna do in the future, just like we are honoring tonight. But first I wanna honor and thank all of our teachers in Chesterfield County for an outstanding job that you were able to do this year through a very challenging time. I want to personally thank you for the 63,000 students and families that you service every day. You know, teachers are, are people that stay up every night thinking about other people's children because you care so much. And I find it amazing that as we go through this very challenging time that uh, you continue to shine and you continue to do outstanding work. Tonight, as we honor the best of the best, I want to give you a, a quote from uh, Tom, Todd Whitaker. And it is, the best thing about a teacher is that it matters. The hardest thing about being a teacher, that it matters every day. And people outside of education never realize how challenging our job is, how difficult it is, how much you care about the young men and women you see every day. So thank you because you make a difference, you matter. You are changing the lives and the futures of thousands of thousands of students every day. And that someday they will remember you like I remember Ed Shoup because you help structure their lives and change their lives into seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Even during the darkest times that we face with the pandemic, you have continued to shine and show the way. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Thank you for the outstanding work that you do every day. The best of the best uh, is not really a term that sh really demonstrates everything that you are doing, but it's something that we can say to you and say thank you on behalf of CCPS. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Ryan Harder, and I'm a former Chesterfield County teacher who now serves as the chairman of the Chesterfield County School Board. On behalf of my school board colleagues, I want to thank and extend my sincere thanks for the work that all of you do. As educators, we're no longer solely responsible for reading, writing, and arithmetic. Our jobs are much greater. You are second mothers and second fathers. You are role models and mentors. You care for, cajole, and encourage. You facilitate, you prod, and you teach. You lead, you create. Your fingerprints are all over tomorrow's success stories. You are the heart and soul of Chesterfield County Public Schools. It is true that teaching is a calling and not a profession, and we are honored that you have chosen to make Chesterfield County Public Schools 
a place to make a difference in the lives of others. As a parent, former teacher, and current school board member, I know the expectations that confront you on a daily basis. I also know well the reputation that our teachers, schools, and school division have within Virginia. I thank you for being leaders in our school division. I thank you for being leaders in our community. I thank you for being leaders in our profession. You truly are the best of the best. I'd also like to offer a special thanks to the Chesterfield Education Foundation, tonight's sponsor. To our friends at the foundation, your constant support of work and advocacy in supporting the school division has helped us become the national leader that we are in public education. Thank you for the work that you do behind the scenes to provide mentors to students, grants to teachers, and support for our division. We truly are stronger when we act as one. We sincerely appreciate the support. Teachers, I hope you understand how supported you are within this community. You are the reason why we are here and why we are successful every day in changing lives for the better. Thank you, each one of you. You truly are the stars of the show. Thank you, Mr. Harder. Before we get into the actual recognition ceremony, we wanna acknowledge that while our teachers are not gathered together for a plated dinner of pork or steak medallions, we are pleased that the Chesterfield Education Foundation and other local businesses have stepped forward to offer our Teachers of the Year a $100 gift certificate to one of our outstanding local restaurants. This certificate is in addition to the statue right here that will be awarded to each teacher at their respective school. The late educator Rita Pearson once said, every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, who understands the power of connection and insists that they become the best they possibly can be. We're here tonight to honor you, those who teach, encourage, prod, and motivate our students to learn, stretch, grow, and develop into outstanding young people who in turn enrich our community. That story of motivation rings true tonight. You are champions. You are great teachers. In many people's opinion, two of the most underutilized words in the English language are thank you. So tonight, we'd like to thank you for the time that you have invested in our children. On behalf of the many households in Chesterfield County, we say thank you. We give you our most cherished gifts, our children, and we ask you to nurture them, educate them, and keep them safe. And in some cases, we ask you to work miracles. Thank you. And now, introducing our 2021 Teachers of the Year. Jessica Felice from Bellwood Elementary. Grinnell Gibson from Bensley Elementary. Jackie Freisinger from Beulah Elementary. Allison Hill from Bonaire Elementary. Rhonda Hawks from Chalkley Elementary. Brooke Mosley from Marguerite Christian Elementary. Rhonda Blake from Clover Hill Elementary. Audrey Serma from Crenshaw Elementary. Maria Bediaco from Crestwood Elementary. Aaron Dunbar from Curtis Elementary. Wendy Collins from Davis Elementary. Rebecca Liggett from Enon Elementary. Elizabeth Kaiser from Ettrick Elementary. Diane Camberdella from Evergreen Elementary. Sonia Winnigan from Fallen Creek Elementary. Pamela Enslin from Gates Elementary. Jennifer Harton from Gordon Elementary. Kristen Bray from Grange Hall Elementary. Nicholas Leonard from Greenfield Elementary. Amy Fisher from Harrogate Elementary. Rachel Rapata from Henning Elementary. Amanda Lynn from Hopkins Elementary. Caitlin Shook from Jacobs Road Elementary. Gary Haney from Matoica Elementary. Dana Belcher from Providence Elementary. Sarah Kinney from Reams Road Elementary. Stephanie Cosby from Robius Elementary. Allison Becker from Salem Church Elementary. April Cousins from Elizabeth Scott Elementary. Peggy Price from Alberta Smith Elementary. Natalie Halava from Spring Run Elementary. Tracy Krostick from Swift Creek Elementary. Lynn Owen from Watkins Elementary. Ashley Mertz from Betty Weaver Elementary. Nicole Joyner from Wells Elementary. 
Rachel Delaney from Winter Park Elementary, Michelle Daniels from Woolridge Elementary, Debbie Vasco from Bailey Bridge Middle, McLean Choate III from Carver Middle, Brooke Kistner from Elizabeth Davis Middle, Victoria Higdon from Manchester Middle, Eden DeMarco from Matoica Middle, Contessa Spinner from Midlothian Middle, Sharon Hunley from Providence Middle, Mary Mackenzie Swink from Robius Middle, Ian Pfeiffer from Salem Church Middle, Alyssa Rushing from Swift Creek Middle, Nat Tuck from Tomahawk Creek Middle, Pamela Hooper from Bird High School, Aaron Woodby from Carver College and Career Academy, Amy Nunley from the Career and Technical Center at Hull, Brianna Gatch from Clover Hill High, Deidre Mercado from Cosby High School, Lauren Spain from Thomas Dale High School, Greg Domasey from James River High School, Jody Bowen Taylor from Manchester High School, Jill Anderson from Matoica High School, Jelani Lynch from Meadowbrook High School, and Mark Spiewak from Midlothian High School. And that leaves us with three, those teachers chosen to represent their colleagues as the best of the best of the best. Heather Russell is the school division's 2021 Elementary School Teacher of the Year. A STEAM teacher at Ecoff Elementary, Ms. Russell is known for her positive can-do attitude, student engagement, and a desire to always do what is best for children while teaching them science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. A former colleague noted that from the beginning, Mrs. Russell stood out as a charismatic teacher with passion for collaboration and integrating subjects to make learning fun and engaging for all students. Congratulations to Heather Russell, the Chesterfield County Public Schools 2021 Elementary School Teacher of the Year. Katie Moore is the school division's 2021 Middle School Teacher of the Year. A sixth grade social studies teacher at Fallen Creek Middle, Ms. Moore is known for her engaging hands-on lessons and building strong relationships with her students. A colleague at Fallen Creek Middle writes, Katie has a seemingly endless reach when it comes to benefiting her students and school community. She is serious about making a positive change and is a reminder to us all that the change we want starts with us. Congratulations to Katie Moore, Chesterfield County Public Schools 2021 Middle School Teacher of the Year. And that leaves one, our 2021 Chesterfield County High School Teacher of the Year and Chesterfield County Public Schools 2021 Teacher of the Year, Chef Sarah Jurowitz of the Chesterfield Career and Technical Center's Courthouse Campus. My name is Sarah Jurowitz. My student call me Chef J. I am the Baking and Pastry Arts Instructor here at the Chesterfield Career and Technical Center at Courthouse. Sarah is Sarah. Sarah is a person that if you ask a question of who exudes professionalism, if you, if you talk about someone who, who cares about students um, on the infinite level that just uh, talks about, I care about them personally, I care about their academics, I care about who they will be, she is that person. Sarah is a teacher from inside and out and she's done this for so many years that it becomes natural to her. Um, she does have her students that sometimes she has to stop everything that she's doing to take care of the emotional side of a student. And there's that time where she has to be business and say, we have things to do and I'm going to show you what industry looks like by saying, we don't have time to play, let's get to work. So she can cover all bases at all times. She's just a phenomenal person. So actually my culinary arts instructor here at the Technical Center, Mark Kimmel, he is a whirlwind and a storm that if you've ever worked with Mark, you know and he is the first one to give you a big bear hug and he's also the first one that will pull you aside and tell you to knock it off tell you to be professional tell you that you need to grow into yourself and he was the first teacher i had had at that time in my life that just took me aside and just looked at me like he thought i was insane for giving up every day it took me a long time but it wasn't until i was in this program where i realized um, 
that this is, this is absolutely where I belong. Oddly enough, I had zero desire to be a teacher. I wanted to be a pastry chef, and that's exactly what I pursued, is to go to college, to go to bacon and pastry arts, and for a very odd series of circumstances, did recreational classes here in the Richmond area, and one of the high schools locally reached out to me out of the blue and said, would you be interested in teaching teenagers? And I thought, sure, yeah, I could do that. And the rest is history. 16 years later, I'm still here and I, I love it. Uh, Chef Jerowitz and I met here at James River. I had been teaching here for a couple years and then she joined our faculty and uh, she and I became good friends after that. As a teacher, I'd describe Sarah as energetic, direct with her students. You know, she, it's still a kitchen and so she doesn't let them goof off because there's knives. You know, there's only so many classes that you can take with knives. Um, so she has to have a certain amount of control. Um, but yeah, she's, she is kind, but direct and um, very inventive. We all know that starting this year in a pandemic was a stressful time. We also know that there were teachers that were struggling with the decision on how to work in a pandemic. Sarah's first response was, how am I gonna communicate with the students? How am, how am I going to make a lively, activity for the students? How am I going to have an engaging activity for these students? There was never a moment for her to feel as if she was going to struggle with this. It was, what's the next thing we need to do to make this work out well? Her first, her second response was, I need a microphone. I need this. I need that. And her eyes lit up. And so again, in a mask world, she made it happen. And so mask on, you could see her smiling, her eyes were smiling, and it let us know she had this. My teaching philosophy is providing an environment of professionalism and skills, blending those together so that every student from every walk of life gets this benefit of a robust education and oddly enough, wrapping them into an environment that lets them know you're gonna get algebra. When I get my hands on you, you're gonna understand algebra. You're gonna get anthropology of food. You're gonna enjoy the history. Your reading comprehension, I promise you, is gonna go up because we're incentivizing education through career and technical education. She was just, like I said, she is sweetness in a, in a bundle. Um, whether it's a hug or her shocking red lipstick and fancy nails, like I've never seen a pastry chef with such nice nails. Um, but, you know, just her demeanor is what makes Sarah, Sarah. That brings to a close our program tonight. On behalf of your 7,500 plus colleagues here in Chesterfield County Public Schools and the 345,000 plus residents of Chesterfield County, we once again say thank you and congratulations. You are our stars, you are game changers, you are making our community a better place to be. Congratulations and have a great evening.